Hi guys, Office Bloke Dave here. I hope you're all doing great today. I am enjoying getting back into reacting to music. I'm absolutely loving it, to be honest. Um, we used to, that's how we started two and a half, almost three years ago now at Office Bloke's React. Um, it was just all music. And then we started branching out into comedy and sort of sketch shows and just anything and everything, sports. And now we don't really do music. It's very rare that we do. Um, and I'm just, that's why I'm enjoying it so much, just picking up where we left off. There's so much that I've missed and so much that I was never exposed to that I'm just loving. So uh, if music content is your thing and that's just music, you know, everything, music reactions, anything to do with music, potentially music news at some point, and I'm actually going to get off my ass and start making music again at some point. If that's your thing, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. It does mean the world to me. Um, right, when fans strike back, the thumbnail for this was MGK, and I'm wondering if it's to do with the beef that he had with Corey from Slipknot, because I remember seeing a clip of all the people, at a, maybe at a festival, um, booing MGK. Maybe it was his next gig or something. But yeah, you don't, uh, you don't go after Slipknot and Slipknot fans. They're absolutely yeah, a bunch of savages. But anyway. Uh, we're going to get into this. This is when fans strike back. Let's do it. I'm probably going to cry. I'm already crying because he'd be so proud. He'd say he wasn't, but he would be. I just miss him so much. He was such an angel. Thank you. You know, I have a big speech, but I'm not going to say it. Hi. Put the lights on. Wait. No more of this shit. Throw bottles on stage. You want to throw bottles? Go throw bottles at shit bands. Not me. You want more? Yeah. You're still throwing bottles. In his defence, he did call out Jimmy Savile on TV and then got banned from the BBC for it, so we can give him a pass. So, good night. You fucking stupid arsehole. See you later. If you're not going to police yourself, fuck off. Yeah, this is really fucking funny. Ha ha ha. I talked about this on another video. I was here. Daphne and Celeste. I was at Leeds Festival. They did Leeds and Reading. And they got obliterated with bottles. Thankfully, plastic bottles. And there's a, there's a backstage uh, interview where I feel like it's one of Slipknot is consoling them because they were really upset after it. But on the same day that you had Rage Against the Machine playing um, Slipknot, Blink-182, uh, Super Suckers, like some Stereophonics, like rock and metal, Daphne and Celeste came on, which are two like pop singers from the UK, with their two songs that they had, and it just erupted. I was 13 at the time, my first ever festival watching this in the crowd, it was nuts. I'm not sure if that was Leeds or Reading, that footage. The one I was at was Leeds. I felt bad. As I've got older, I felt bad for him. At the time, it was just chaos. It was absolute chaos. Who booked them for that gig, though? It was just not the right call. 
and fans paid around 70 euro each to see Guns N' Roses in the O2 last night. But frontman Axel Rose started the show late, angering an already impatient crowd. By the second like song, Rose. Welcome to the Jungle, the mood turned ugly. All right, here's the deal. One more bottle, we go home. If you don't want to have fun, all you got to do is let us know, and we got no problem. We'll go on our way. He's such a dick. Like I, I don't know him, and I know it's not nice to say about people that you don't know, but late every single gig, people have paid money, just so entitled and up his own ass. It's just not right. Again, I think it was I think it was at a download festival actually where Guns N' Roses were headlining. I want to say the Sunday night, and uh, everyone in the crowd for the main stage is waiting waiting ages for him to turn up. I'm sure they were over an hour late getting onto the stage. And that whole time people just stood around with no entertainment whatsoever, waiting for him to get off his high horse and, you know, come down from his castle and actually grace people with his presence. And um, the whole time that was going on, I was in a tent watching Suicidal Tendencies play, absolutely smashing it, great show, having a great time. That's how it should be done. Nickelback fans in Portugal? Are you sure? Up to you. You guys want to hear some rock and roll or you want to go home? I've seen this clip. See ya. The nominees for the best R&B urban contemporary new artists are... Rhythm of Life, Olita Adams. <laughs> Love takes time. Mariah Carey. Ice, ice, baby. Vanilla ice. Oh, 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 you made me want. Oh, shit. Is that a Super Bowl? <laughs> I need a bit more context on that one. I've seen the... It was Ashley Simpson that did the the dance, wasn't it? Where it was the lip sync fail. And she just kind of did a weird dance and that was it and blamed a band. That looked like it may have been the Super Bowl. Some good ones there, actually. I enjoyed that. I think you've got to, as a musician or as, as a band or anything, you've really got to look after your fans and not take the piss because people turn quickly. And what's going to happen is you're going to be playing the main stage at a festival and someone, some genius, is going to put you on either before or after a band that you've had beef with or fans that you've had beef with. There's going to be crossover and you're just going to get absolutely crucified. That's just what happens. I don't know how Guns N' Roses still have a career, if I'm being honest, and more so Axl Rose, because I've seen recent videos where he's singing on stage. He's just trash and he's just a just a mess. And if, he were, if it was on form and turning up late to every gig, you can see people sort of forgiving it a little bit, but turn up late act entitled to fans, be a dick to people and not perform very well while he's there. Why do people go and watch him? This is what I thought when I was at the festival, that I think it was Download, that was um, all my friends were going to watch Guns N' Roses and I'm like, why? I don't understand. I really don't get it. A couple of great albums, don't get me wrong, absolutely classic albums. Welcome to the Jungle, it's amazing. 
But why? Why when you can go and watch? I think I think we had like sick of it all. I think Hatebreed may have been there. There were suicidal tendencies. There was like, you know, the community feel was there, even though people were getting pretty naughty in the mosh pit. It was there. It was good fun. And they were so appreciative, so much energy on stage and turned up on time. So just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think of all that. Um, like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. It doesn't mean the world to me. And I will see you all again very soon. Cheers.